Getting into the green models on the plats, plates, plats, and um, these green models, as shown in the cheat sheet, are uh, eight different oscillator models. The first one is a pair of classic waveforms. So we're gonna go through recipes on each one of these green models. I'll probably break this into two videos, so we'll do the first four in this video. I'm trying to stay as simple as possible. No modulation, no external envelope or VCA, and just the trigger, internal envelope. So I have the volts per octave coming from the Z8000 tip top matrix sequencer coming into the volts per octave and that will vary just semi-randomly but uh, through a quantizer so we don't drive viewers crazy i can press this left button and use the morph knob to set the decay and i'm going to set the decay to just two leds which is about mid midway let's see what that sounds like And that actually is the first recipe. It is called a bass, a plucky bass. And to do that, I got the harmonics at the center. I've got timbre, oops, timbre should be at the center. Morph should be at the center. It's all, this is like the simplest recipe there is. Everything is centered. And we get a plucky bass. Let's move on to the second recipe on this first model. And this one I call a harmonium. It sounds to me like a harmonium. I can use frequencies of like low to mid. Harmonics should be set to the center, timbre centered, everything is centered again. The difference here is that we're setting the decay to a long decay. So with that longer decay, that plucky bass sounds a little bit more like a harmonium. Let's go to the third recipe, and this is just a bass drum if you are using this first green model, and you want a bass drum, so we're going to go frequency is going to be full low. We're, we can really do anything with the harmonics, so I'll show you that. And everything else is centered except the FM attenuverter is going to be set fully clockwise. And we're also going to set the envelope back to two LEDs. Let's see what that sounds like. So with the FM attenuverter all the way up, get a bass drum. It's a little bit of a melodic bass drum. It's got, you can, you can definitely tune this bass drum. And there's other ways to get bass drums, obviously, but this is one way to get it on this first oscillator model. Let's go to the next one, which is just actually taking this and changing it slightly by taking the morph to three o'clock, and I call this one Monster Footsteps. I almost changed the mode. There we go, there's Monster Footsteps. I changed the decay to three LEDs. can be kind of anywhere for this. Well, actually, they should be more on the left side here. But that's monster footsteps, kind of a silly one. Okay, let's go to the next one. The next one, uh, I'm calling cello. It's a cello section. And this is actually, we're going to pull the trigger for this one. Pull the trigger. <laughs> we're going to remove the trigger for this one. Um, and we're going to go low to mid on the frequencies. I'll go a little bit higher. Harmonics is going to be about 10 o'clock. Timbre is going to be about 10 o'clock. And Morph is going to be about 2 o'clock. So 
sort of a cello section. And the harmonics, you have to almost tune it. You have to almost tune the harmonics there. And on this one, I think what we should do is slow this one down. Because you don't hear cellos playing like that very often. Oh, I needed to fix the FM. Uh, you have to really squint on this one. Okay, let's move to the next. We're still on the first green model, the pair of classic waveforms. And we're going to do a detuned classic synth. So we're going to put the trigger back in for this one. Get a synth going. Here you can use harmonics to detune it a little bit more. Okay, let's move to the next one. And the next one is, we're moving actually to the next model. Model two, which is the wave shaping oscillator using the cheat sheet and the wave shaping oscillator the first recipe is an electric string bass so this is meant to be an electric string bass yeah sounds a little bit Let's uh, get some plucky strings going. Let's get some plucky strings going. Use a mid frequency counterclockwise on harmonics. And we're basically changing everything. I mean, leaving everything, but we're changing the envelope a bit. Get some plucky strings, yeah. from low strings to high strings. Now we're gonna change morph a bit and get uh, something a little different. The next recipe is the marimba, it's like bells. And of course I recognize these can be <laughs> created, these sounds, with so many different oscillators and settings and even within the Platz itself you can get these with others. But the reason I created these recipes is so I could dial them in more quickly when I look them up on my spreadsheet by the sound I'm trying to get. So if I type in marimba I can see, oh, I can get that on the second green model with the following set settings and boom, I can get there right away. Uh, let's move to something that I actually called a mandolin or an oud, if you ever heard of that instrument. It is a stringed instrument. And let's see how I did that. I think I went 10 o'clock on harmonics, counterclockwise on timbre. And then 1 o'clock or even further on morph. And let's check. I think I turned the, yep, yeah, turned the attack all the way down. With effects again, you're going to get a much nicer effect.
and it's a little muted. It's a little muted, so I could actually increase the decay here. Okay, let's move on to the muted bells. And again, these muted sounds are often achieved with a much lower decay. Quick attack and, and a pretty quick decay. So muted bells were going a little, you know, pretty high on the frequency still, centered on harmonics, counterclockwise on timbre, which is where we already are. And now we're taking morph counterclockwise. See how the effects sound. on Morph. So this is going to be interesting. I'm going to make that change as you listen. And we'll add some effects. Okay, let's do one more uh, on this. And this is, oh, sorry. No, oh, that is it for the second. I don't have any more recipes for the second uh, model. Let's go to the third model. The third model is a two operator FM. I did not do that much with this uh, model. I call it soft bells. Frequencies, you know, kind of mid range. Um, the harmonics can be anywhere. So I'm gonna leave that centered right now. We're gonna go stay counterclockwise with timbre. And again, we're on the third green model now. So on this model, on the FM, because I have timbre all the way down, timbre is the modulation index, so this means the harmonics, which is the frequency ratio, has no effect. If I turn timbre up, then of course harmonics will have an effect. But when I have it down, I get soft bells, and it doesn't matter what I do here. Same on morph. So it's basically just whatever frequency I want. Second recipe on the third model is, uh, I called it a buzzy sitar. So let's see what that sounds like. This time we're going to go, yeah, mid-frequency, uh, but we're going to go harmonics, sorry, timbre clockwise and harmonics counterclockwise and morph is going to be clockwise. Let's see what that buzzy sitar sounds like. It's quite nice. And let's see what effects sound like when we put effects on. Okay, let's turn those effects off and not forget. Okay, we're going to move on from the FM to the granular formant oscillator. And this is model number four. I also only did a couple here. This first one has a silly name. I called it the Melodic Frog. It's obnoxious sound. Obnoxious name for an obnoxious sound. We're gonna go about three o'clock on harmonics. 
Sort of a melodic frog. That's it there. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> this next one is we're going. I call this one uh, "Say Ah" and other "Ew." So um, it's mostly a "Say Ah," but it's got some other vowel sounds. We're going to go kind of low on the frequencies, but more low mid about one o'clock on harmonics, about one o'clock on timbre, about one o'clock on morph, um, and we're going to center FM again. Ah, 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 say ah. Yeah. And I think with a lot of these formants, you can actually, with modulation, get better vowel sounds. So you can see with some modulation you can really do something cool here. But I'm trying to keep it simple. The recipes are basic, and then you can work from there. It's the whole idea. All right, let's go to number five. Oh, actually, we're not going to cover number five in this video. Ah, look forward to the next video, because number five has a ton of interesting things. I have so many recipes for number five. So I'm going to pull you into that video. I hope this was somewhat useful. I am determined to get through this.